Hi, this is the Universal Thermal Store from Advanced Appliances. Now I'm going to tell you what it does, how it works and why it's safe to use. Now if you've come from the website, fine, there's stuff on there about what size you need and so on as well as the installation guide which you can download. If you found us on YouTube, then Google Advanced Appliances and have a look at the site. Well here it is, a thermal store which will link a number of fuel sources to give you mains, pressure hot water and sealed central heating. Your wood burner or solar panels will help to reduce your gas or oil bills. The trick is to combine them in such a way so that when the wood burner is lit, for example, your boiler doesn't need to come on, or only occasionally. This pre-wired, pre-plumbed thermal store takes all the pain away from installation. It's a plug and play. You just plumb the flow from the wood burner here, and the return here. Likewise, your gas or oil boiler flow here and return here. Here is the central heating pump. Flow and return. The pump's already fitted and wired up for you. This is the solar coil flow and return. And here is the solar sensor for solar thermal hot water panels. If you have solar PV generating electricity, there are two immersion heaters fitted here and here. The thermostats control the inputs. You'll need to connect mains from a 3 amp switch spur into the live neutral and earth. As seen here, a live from the programmer and room thermostat is wired here and the switch live from the boiler goes here. The hot water is generated by a special high transfer coil. It's simple and reliable without the need for extra pumps or an electrical supply. Cold from the mains comes in here through the service valve and into the coil. It comes out hot into the blending valve here, mixing with cold to give a fast safe flow to hot taps and shower heads. So that's what it is, the universal thermal store for linking different fuel types. How does it work? These stores operate at 75 to 85 degrees, not lower unless you want to compromise hot water delivery. That's why we fit this diagnostic tool here, a temperature gauge. Solar and wood burners produce low grade heat. The sun comes out and goes in. The wood burner is cool when first lit and may not be lit at all on some days. That's why these inputs are in the bottom part of the store. We all know heat rises, so if we heat the lower part of the store with low grade heat sources, when there is energy available, it heats the full store. In turn, that means that the boiler comes on less often or not at all. Let's take an example. The wood burner is lit in the evening. You go to bed, the heat from the fire is being captured in the store. In the morning, when the wood burner has gone out, you have a fully charged store to provide central heating and hot water with no input needed from the gas or oil boiler. Remember, you will need a controllable source, such as a gas or oil boiler or electricity, to top up heat during those periods when the solar gain isn't sufficient and the wood burner isn't lit. The wood burner. Let's take a closer look at the wood burner input. Here's the flow from the wood burner and here is the return. We pump the circuit and incorporate a blending valve. It prevents water going back to the wood burner before the temperature reaches 55 or 60 degrees. You can set the temperature here. It does two things. Reduces cold water getting back to the appliance where condensation can form and it helps efficiency. Wood burners work better with a warm return than a cold one. 
So up to the set temperature, water does this. Then when set temperature is reached, it goes back to the stove like this. Here's a neat little thing, an 8mm bypass to make sure that there is some flow back to the stove. Which leads me into the heat leak. It must be installed and it must be configured to operate on gravity. The heat leak is an appropriately sized radiator or towel rail which soaks excess energy from the wood burner. It's fitted between here and the wood burner. It's all in the installation guide. This thermostat on the loose flex is fitted a metre or so next to the wood burner so it senses that it's lit. This one on the tank will only switch the pump on when the small thermostat has sensed that the wood burner is lit and if the thermal store is lower than 80 degrees. The boiler. This is the boiler pump wired into the junction box to switch it on when this thermostat here calls for heat. We recommend setting this at 75 degrees. Central heating. The central heating is taken off here. It flows out to the heating circuit and then flows back. Note a 28mm tube. If you want to split underfloor and radiators, just tee off in 22mm. The thermostat and programmer in your property just turns this pump on and off. When heating is pulled off and the store cools, these thermostats will pull more heat into the store, a virtuous circle. And the heating comes off the lower part of the store and does not compromise the hot water performance. Showering with heating on is not going to be a problem. Solar heating. The solar input looks after itself. Solar companies provide controls, safety devices, temperature sensors and so on. All we do is fit a coil to transfer the heat from the solar panels. Two pockets are provided, one here for control and one here for a high limit safety. Solar PV, electric solar, can be configured to feed these two high temperature immersion heaters. Safety features. The unit can be used safely with sealed heating systems and solid fuel. It meets part G of the building regulations because of the safety features we've incorporated into our unit. For boiler safety, a high limit thermostat here switches it off in case of overheat. For solid fuel safety, a heat leak installed and an overheat thermostat here. For heating safety, a pressure relief valve here connected to a tundish. Solar safety is taken care of by the kit supplied with the solar panels. The immersion heaters have high limit protection devices fitted. Taking into account all inputs and especially solid fuel, here's protection level 2. It's a tamper proof high limit thermostat which at 90 degrees will switch the heating pump on to send excess heat around the heating circuit. And finally, I love this one. The thermal safety valve, a non-electrical device that senses temperature here and at 97 degrees opens up, draws cold mains water through the coil that will cool the store down and dump the excess heat into the tundish and away from the property. So the universal thermal store is safe, easy to install and links your different appliances together in a simple and understandable way. One more thing, it looks good and it comes with 60ml of insulation which exceeds the legal requirements for heat loss set down in Part L of the building regulations. You must use storage to capture renewable energy.
and thermal stores are the best way to combine energy types. So look online and give Advanced Appliances a call. You'll be glad you did.